this is the mass on the incline problem. And we've got M sitting there on an incline uh, at an angle of theta from the horizontal. And of course, gravity is going to want to pull that mass down the incline. And we want to maybe find the acceleration rate of that mass as it slides down the incline uh, with or without friction. Oh, let's make this an interesting problem and have there be friction. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is define a coordinate system. Um, I like to define one that's both parallel and perpendicular to the incline itself. What we'll have, the only complication there would be um, weight, mg, will still point straight down perpendicular to the ground, uh, so we're going to have to break it up into components parallel and perpendicular to the incline itself. Now the component parallel to the incline will be mg sine theta, and that will govern the gravitational pull. That'll be the force due to gravity in, along the incline. Uh, now, if there's friction, we'll also want to compute or calculate the, um, the perpendicular component, uh, the, the, the normal, the component of weight normal to the incline. And uh, as long as we balance the Y forces, so the mass doesn't fly off into space or come crashing through the incline, then we can establish that the normal force in this problem equals mg cosine theta, and that will help us solve, uh, that will help us estimate, that will help us calculate the amount of friction that there is in this problem. Now, as long as the uh, gravitational force is greater than the frictional force, then we will have motion. Now, uh, sum up all the forces uh, in the x direction, and that equals ma. So we've got force of gravity minus force of friction equal to ma, and there we've got our lovely handy-dandy um, equation all set up to do whatever you need to do with it. Now, if uh, you're, you might very well have motion, but if it's uh, the mass is moving at a constant velocity, remember that means there's no change in velocity, so acceleration zero, and that means um, your force due to gravity and friction are balanced, and you can solve your problem accordingly. Now check it out. If uh, the block moves down at a constant rate, for the two forces, gravity and friction balance. It doesn't matter what the mass is or even what planet you're on in terms of gravitational acceleration. Uh, the tangent of the angle of the incline is going to be equal to the coefficient of friction. That is a beautiful thing.